is the ASEAN managing director for the consulting firm Control Risks. Uh, Dane, tell us the government has declared victory after this vote. So what happens next? Well, they're going to move, uh, move to solidify the vote into law, and then probably in late 2017, uh, possibly early 2018, they'll have a national elections again. Um, but uh, again, because of the nature of the new constitution, closely managed, if you will, with the military in the background, which is kind of a return to what Thailand was in the 1980s and 1990s. So not as, not as liberal as it has been in the last kind of decade and a half or so. In the past two years, as you know, since the coup has taken place, we've seen a push back by the military junta against dissent and political openness. Is this a mandate for more of the same, in your opinion? Not really. I think this was a vote for uh, you know, a known as opposed to an unknown if the, if the uh, referendum had been defeated. It was kind of un unknown as to how long the military would stay, how the government would go forward, how the country would go forward. So I think, you know, Thai people have voted for, okay, this is at least a structure with which to go forward. Um, I think if you polled them, you know, they would say, and when the polls have been able to be conducted, you know, uh, the current government, the NCPO, the uh, military government, the junta, is not particularly popular. Uh, a lot of the moves they've taken, particularly around this referendum in terms of detaining people, critics, even school children, uh, have not been particularly popular. Uh, they haven't done a fantastic job with the economy, uh, which also doesn't help their popularity. So I wouldn't say it's a vote in favor of them. I would say it's more a vote in favor of moving forward away from them, actually, or at least directly away from them into some kind of system, uh, electoral system, that, that Thai, Thailand can manage. So, Dane, tell our international audience what is at the core of the problems there for the ineffective governments. Well, the problem really for the last decade has been a struggle over the succession, uh, the succession in the monarchy. The king is ailing and aged, and he has been for quite a while. And uh, you had a very popular uh, movement under the former prime minister, Taksin, who brought a lot of people who hadn't been in the, in the part of the electoral process into the electoral process. Um, and a lot of the people in the South, and particularly Bangkok, who were kind of the traditional elite, didn't like that. And as the king at some point passes from the scene, uh, it was really a competition between these two camps as to who would be in government, who would be controlling the levers of government when he passed, and therefore would, who would control the succession and manage the succession in his passing. And that's quite important in Thailand because it is a monarchy and there's a lot of power uh, and access to, to levers of power, access to resources that come with uh, being in the favor of the current monarch. So for the last decade, Thailand has been going through this, this, this struggle, if you will, between these two, broadly speaking, these two opposing camps. And that has contributed to a great deal of instability in the governments uh, between the Thaksin governments and the kind of anti-Thaksin governments. Um, and so there's been a lot of back and forth, one being elected and then displaced and being elected again and then displaced, et cetera. So that's really what's behind this. Um, and it's probably going to continue to a certain extent until uh, the succession a actually happens and is, and is kind of solidified over a period of years. This, you're going to see this kind of struggle continue. I was just going to ask you what, what you expect to happen um, in the coming years. But do you expect them to make any sort of alliances at, at all? Any sort of concessions, I should say. Uh, sorry, any sort of alliances? Or, in yes, terms the concessions of, I, is what it means. Uh, the current government? Yes. Concessions by the current government? Yes. No, I mean, I think they've, you know, they, the... they've created this, this referendum. This, Go ahead. This, they've created the Constitution in a way that gives them power behind the scenes, as I said, kind of going back a few decades into uh, Thailand's political history. And that's what they wanted. They wanted to have a system that they could manage where they would kind of break the power of Toxin's party. Uh, if you had a general election today under the old system, almost no, no question that that party would win. Um, they wanted to ensure that didn't happen again, and they wanted to ensure that they pull the strings in any, any future government, um, A, to prevent a return by Toxin, and also to make sure that they manage the succession in the monarchy.